Hey, so I wanted to share this little book that I'm making uh, where I took an old Hardy Boys book and uh, cut a hole in the center and then I just painted a little bit that kind of raw edge of the cardboard and I'm going to make a buttonhole stitch book. On the inside I just glued in a piece of um, paper that I had painted with some acrylic paints and then for the signatures I have four signatures each of which is made from uh, glued um, uh, recycled paper. And I just did some uh, s uh, stenciling with acrylic paint uh, on the outside. And then I have two pieces of uh, text weight paper uh, inside each signature. Um, and so um, the great thing about this buttonhole stitch is that you don't have to do a lot of measuring. You can just put the signatures inside and then mark with a pen right inside that edge of the binding. So I just put a, f a pen mark right inside the edge of the book spine on the top and the bottom. And um, then I'll show you how we uh, stitch the book together. So you wanna start with the last signature, the, the one in the back. And uh, the first thing that you'll wanna do is to poke holes those two holes in each signature. It's good to clip uh, any the paper to the signature so that things don't move around. And then I sped up a little bit, just poking a hole right where I had marked one in each side of the signature. So I'm gonna do that for all four of the signatures. And I really love the look of this little buttonhole type of book because you kind of get to peek, um, peek inside. And that way you get to see the beautiful sides of the signatures. And I also like this type of binding because you can um, uh, really open all of the pages and it kind of opens pretty flat, um, which is also nice when you're uh, writing or drawing or doing whatever else you're going to do with the book. And then just poking through the last signature. All right, so again, you're going to take the signature in the back, the last one first, and then you'll be working forward. And so you're gonna get your string. I like to use waxed linen thread, which you can uh, find pretty easily. Some people will use unwaxed thread and then uh, run it across a little block of beeswax to wax it themselves. Here I'm using about uh, three times the length um, top to bottom of the book and just cutting that off and grabbing a needle um, and threading it before we start with the, the stitching on the top part of the book. So you wanna leave a few inches extra. So opening to the middle of the signature and you're gonna poke through. Now sometimes the paper in the signature, the little holes get off. Um, so I'm just kind of poking through to make sure I can get through. And so then you're going from inside the signature to the outside and leaving a little bit of thread there and often just kind of attaching that to the clip helps keep it in place. And then putting the needle through the hole that you made in your binding. And then with this first stitch, you'd want to make sure that, that um, as you bring it around, that the stitch lays on the spine. So I think I'm just moving this um, so that the clip is towards the back and just using a little bit of a bigger clip to kind of get that to stay still. And then just tucking that edge of the 
wax linen thread underneath the clip to just hold it in place while we're stitching. So we've gone through the, you know, kind of from the inside the signature to the outside through the hole. And then you just bring the thread around the spine and back inside that signature. And bring it back out through that same hole. And this first stitch is a little bit different than the other stitches just to kind of anchor it down. So you're kind of pulling tight and, and you want to make sure that it lays down over the spine. And then you're just bringing the needle through that little stitch you made and just pulling tight. And so that's our last, last signature in. We're going to bring the second to last one on top. And again, open up to the middle so that we know where our hole is. And then you're just bringing that needle in to the signature from the outside to the inside and then pulling it tight. And then you're going to wrap around the outside. And again, just kind of holding that all in place. And then What you're doing is just bringing the needle up through that little edge to pull and kind of make a loop. And you'll see this again a few times. Sorry, it's a little hard to see there. Pulling tightly down and then up and down and then up just to kind of tighten it. And then we'll bring our next signature on. Once you've um, done the stitches, you can remove those little clips. So we're bringing our next signature on, again opening up to the middle and kind of holding it in place. And so you're bringing your needle through that hole of the signature into the middle. it tight and then bringing it around the outside. So just readjusting there and kind of clipping everything in place that we've already done. So bringing that string around the outside and then just bringing it up through the little loop that was made and tightening it and you pull in, down, and then up to kind of tighten it, and down and up again if you want, and then you're ready for the next signature. This is our last one. So we're bringing that again from outside to inside. And sometimes you don't get through the paper, so we got to kind of poke around till we get it to figure out where the hole is. So just kind of gently going through the other way sometimes until you see the needle come through. And that was partly because I took the clip off. So it's good to keep those clips on so that everything stays in place. So we're just going to reclip that. And I was just checking that, so we're taking it out again. And again, we're going here from outside to inside. And that one is being a little fussy, so we'll bring it through there. And then pulling tight around the outside of the book. And then just coming up through inside that tiny little bit where the string went in. So just coming inside and then pulling tight and making sure all those strings stay on the spine. Pulling up and then down and then up again if you need to. And then for this last signature, we're going to go back in through the same hole 
and bring it out again and then we're going to tie off here using a half hitch knot where you take the needle through that loop that was already there and then you're going to go back the other way sorry I have to pull the loop a little bit open back the other way through that loop and that creates a little knot and you pull towards the center of the book to tighten that down. And we'll do that one more time. So going through to make that little loop and then going back the other way, pulling up and then pulling tight towards the center of the book. So we're gonna clip off that little extra thread. So that's one side done and basically the other side is repeating the exact same thing. Um, just using another piece of thread. And now already all of the signatures are in there, so it's a little easier to maneuver the second piece. So that's all four signatures done on one side. Um, and then we're just gonna clip the other piece there. This is, um, was our first one. Um, and you can, in the beginning, just tie a square knot. In this case, I didn't do that, so I'm going to um, just do another set of half hitch knots to tie that first signature in. And my string's a little short, so it's a little challenging. But, so again, pulling through that loop and tightening towards the center, going underneath and then back the other way through that loop and then pulling up and then towards the center and then we can cut off that little extra bit all right so that's the first one done and so the other side is done exactly the same way um, and once that's done then I'll show you how it all looks in the end where we have our signatures done on both sides, the upper and lower. And it's such a cute little book where we have all of our mixed media signatures and then some writing paper in between. So it's a pretty easy way to go. And I uh, just love making these little books, and it's wonderful to use recycled materials and stuff you have at home to make something fun and interesting. Hope you enjoyed it.